what's going on there youtube back once again all back at least yeah did you miss me probably not um yeah sorry people i've been in that hospital man yeah not been well been a bit poorly went to hospital for a bit and then came out and then ended up going back in there again for a few days um yeah problems with my legs and uh cellulitis and an infection so i had to go on um you uh iv antibiotics so but i still feel a bit groggy i don't feel great but i, I want to get some videos going i don't want to lose momentum man things were going so well so if you're still here i appreciate it um I, I'm just saying that because I might not feel sound like I'm burning on full cylinders because I'm really not. But let's go for it, shall we? Um, <clears throat> I've been sat on um, the new line from Toke for about a week. No, well, I probably am since the beginning of the week, I think. Yeah. Um, and that's the uh, Artisan Snuffs. Yeah, pretty cool. Um... I did put out a little video and asked for comments like who wanted which ones they wanted first. I didn't get a great deal of uh, feedback, so it basically ended up being like one vote for all of them. <laughs> it's sods lot, but um, yeah. So I'm just gonna do them in order. So the first one that was asked for was Juniper Rappe. Um, yeah. As far as the arts and snuffs go um i think there's eight of them four of them are the rep repes that were sort of rumored for a while you get hearing like little whispers of 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 roderick locked away in his basement somewhere i imagine him surrounded by all different rapes and and his missus or something it's knocking on the door saying you come in for tea and he's like god damn woman just let me find that perfect rape maybe i just put too much imagination into it but <laughs> yeah um yeah so four of them yeah are uh rapes and then i think the other four are like um his favorite or not necessarily his favorite but the the, the ones that toke felt were the best um bespoke snuffs that were made so um you know, some of them have got a little story behind, I believe, and and but anyway, Juniper is one of the rapé ones. So this is the one we're going for first. Um, I am partial to a good rapé, and uh, when I was talking to Roderick about it, like briefly in an email, he he said a line, he said something along the lines of, you know, that the, the rapés are, um. You know, there's they're, they're ones that have got a lot of sort of subtle sense and that about them. It's, in, it's me paraphrasing, but um, the bit that made me laugh is he said, uh, you know, they're not to be taken in little pea size um, pinches. They're the sort of snuffs you've got to shovel up your nose. And I thought, that's my special, right? That's my speciality, Roderick. Don't worry about that. There's one thing I'm good at, and that's shoveling it up my nose. So, let's see how she goes, shall we? Um, yeah, I've got another little idea as well. I'm going to put up another little... I'm going to play around with it, but I've got another little camera to get in real close and just to see what the, uh, you know, what... I don't know, I thought it was interesting. I'll put some extra pictures up and you tell me what you think. Is it worth it? Is it not? I don't know. Um, okay, so looking at it, it's very dark, as you would expect a dark-fired tobacco leaf rapé to be. Um, yeah, really dark, off the tin, again, a, you know, a bit of, a bit of ammonia. But yeah, you're getting that uh, 
a bit of ammonia, a bit of fermented dark tobacco, as you would expect. And then you've got that, that smell of juniper, which is, um, it's a funny smell, juniper, to me. Because it kind of has a bit of sweetness about it, but it's bitter as well. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm jumping all over the place. I'm sorry. But the grind is... For, for, oh, right. Get, I'm sorry. The grind is... Uh, I would say it's still sort of medium grind. Still within the toke's normal sort of there. Like compared to a lot of other repays, it's it's quite fine. Um moisture's plenty moisture, you know, medium to high moisture. And it's really dark. But yeah, I already said the scent, so let's jump in and see what she's saying, shall we? Nice selfie bump. Cheers, Roderick. Let's see what she's saying. So, easy to take. It's got, it's got a nice little burn to it. It's not nothing like uncomfortable. Bit of satisfactory. Um, it's got, yeah, it's got. A, a, I mean, juniper's got a bit of a sort of. To me, it's got a bit of a, not menthol, but it's got a little bit of a sort of freshness to it. Um, sort of reminiscent of sort of pine and yeah there's sort of like a woody pine sappy sort of scent to it and then and then you get that sort of tobacco which is a you know like it's it's like all dark fired repes, you know, you've got that, that nice um woody uh smoky fermented tobacco scent. Um yeah, like earth and yeah, it's not See, juniper's, I, for me personally, like, juniper can be a bit hit and miss for me. Like, sometimes, if there's too much of it, I don't like it. This one's not too bad. I wouldn't say it's not too bad. I'd say it's, it's nice. It's not, it's not overdone with the juniper. It's like, you can pick up the tobacco, you can pick up the, the, the dark-fired, um, you know, all, all them layers of that dark-fired, uh, Repé scent, but it's nicely topped with a bit of juniper, and it's got that sort of bit of sweet. Um, I'd say for me, I kind of I smell the juniper, I get a hit of sweetness, then like a little bit of bitterness, and then it sort of like settles out into like a bit of a sweeter scent again. Yeah. It is good. I imagine it's going to make your nose drip. But then, for me, all rapes do. It doesn't help that I shovel it up there. So, it's got to go somewhere. Yeah, nice, nice burn it's um it's got a little bit of like a little bit of spiciness to the juniper as well
I also want to say it's almost got like a bit of citrusness to it as well. I don't know, juniper is quite a complex scent as it is, I think. There's a lot to it. As I say, like it is quite, you know, as as you got it, but you have definitely got that rapé sat there present the whole time as well. Like there's no missing that. With it's sort of like earthy. I get a sort of hay and a grassiness from it. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like it. Let's go for number three. Yeah, it's good. As I say, it's got a bit of ammonia in it. Yeah, do you know what? On that last hint, I almost got a, it almost smelled a bit sort of blueberry. Like a, like a hint of blueberryness to it. I think it's definitely one that you're going to want to mull over and i think it's going to carry on to develop the more i take it the more i'm going to pick out nicotine's good on it it's not crazy high but it's it's definitely present i like it i am i'm going to give it a yeah seal of approval um, you know, I like all them repe, so I find it hard not to give them a seal of approval, but, um, yeah, there's no, there's nothing to complain about with it. I quite like it. Um, yeah, it's definitely, it changes. Like now I'm getting a really sort of sweet blueberry sort of, almost like a hint of sort of bubble, like not bubble gum, but sweet. A candy sort of sweetness, but even as I'm talking, that's fading away. And now I'm getting like waves of a sort of earthy, smoky. Yeah, it's good, I think. And I think there's plenty layers to it, there's a lot to discover in it. So, well worth a try, I think. I'm gonna keep on I'm gonna keep on exploring it and see what pops out the tin for me. So I'm gonna leave it there. Sorry this is probably a little bit shaky. Like I said, I'm not hundred percent, but I'm I'm gonna get back into it. I keep saying this, but I don't know. Look I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna keep going. So if you're still here, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, even though I haven't been on there, my subscribers are still creeping up. So if you're new, welcome. New videos coming out. We're going to get back into it. Going to get going and we're going to be cracking on. So remember to tap, pinch and two because that's three ingredients to your enjoyment and your enjoyment is all I got for you. So remember to come back to the shed and until then I shall bid you farewell.